Hi guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are learning tree data structure. If you are trying to learn data structures, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update on the videos we post. In the last video, we learned how to create a BST from a sorted linked list. Today, let's try to find the kth smallest element in a BST. So, let's get started. Here's the problem statement from lead code. Given a binary search tree, write a function to find the kth smallest element in it. For example, on left, we can see that the first smallest element is 1, while for the example on right, we need to find third smallest element. Here, if we sort the elements, the result would be 3. Till now, we are well versed with the properties of BST that states that the left is less than root, which is less than right. Thus, when we try to write down the in-order traversal for BST, it gives us sorted list of elements. Thus, our question can now be rephrased as, find out the kth element in in-order traversal. Now that we know this, this question is a straightforward in-order traversal problem. The only thing we can do is stop when we have found the kth element rather than finding the in-order traversal for the complete tree. The basic algorithm for this can be written as follows. We create two variables at class level that will hold the value of k and result. In the main method, we update k with the input value and call the in-order traversal. In the in-order traversal method, we perform basic null checks and then traverse left. While processing the root, we first decrement the value for k and check if it has become 0. If yes, it is the kth element in in-order traversal and also a required kth smallest element. Thus, we update the result to root.val and terminate. Otherwise, we keep traversing and thus go to right. Once we are done with the in-order traversal, the value in the result will be the kth smallest element and thus we return it. Let's see this working with an example. Let's take this tree. Assuming we need third smallest element, the initial value for k will be 3 and for result will be 0. We will start with calling in order on root node. This will in turn call the in order method on its left that is node 3. While this will in turn call in order method on node 2 and then on node 1. Now as there is no left node for this, the node will get processed, so we decrement k and move to its right. But as the right is also null, we move up and process node 2. So we decrement k and as k is not yet 0, we need to keep processing the nodes further. So we move to right, but as right is also null, we do nothing but move up and process node 3. Here we decrement k, which makes it 0. So we update the result variable with the value of this node and stop here. 3 is our desired element, the third smallest element in this tree. Now that we have seen the example, let's see the code. Here is the code for this method. We have initialized two class level variables, k and result. In the kth smallest element method, we update the value of k with the input k value. Then we call the in order method on its root. After processing is complete, we return the value that is stored in result. In the in-order method, we first perform the null check on root. Then we recursively call the in-order method on left of root. After left, we process the root. Here, we decrement k and check if the decremented k has become 0 or not. If yes, we update the result with root.val and then terminate or return. Otherwise, we will traverse further to the right of root. After this loop terminates, we will have the kth smallest element in the result variable. That's all. You can find the link to this code and the question in the description below. Do practice it yourself. In the next video, we will learn about expression trees and Zor trees. Thanks for watching. Let me know your views and thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing.